New footage has been released of the aftermath of a Ukrainian drone attack on Russia's Moscow region. As can be seen from the footage spread on Telegram channels, one of the apartments in a multi-story building collapsed and became unusable following a kamikaze drone strike in Ramenskoy town in Moscow region. The residents of the building were evacuated from the area. The consequences of the fire in the city have not yet been completely eliminated. Those injured in the incident have been hospitalized. A 46-year-old woman was killed and three people were injured in Ramenskoy after the attack caused a fire on the 11th and 12th floors of the building, Moscow Regional Governor Andrei Vorobyev said. It should be noted that Ukraine launched large-scale drone attack on nine regions of Russia, including Moscow on the night of September 10. Российские войны, так вот у нас ходят на фронт. Причем после доктора, блядь. За место госпитализации идем дальше воевать. Ай? Воды. Воды. Там это воз. Там в этом вода есть. Вот. На костылях, с палками. Непонятно. К тебе? Чего? Воевать идут. Российские войны. Так вот у нас ходят на фронт. Причем после доктора, блядь. За место госпитализации идем дальше воевать. Ай? Воды. Воды. Там <с это воз. Там же в этом вода есть. Вот. На костылях, с палками. Непонятно. К тебе? Чего? Воевать идут. Russian Armed Forces serviceman and popular Z blogger Yegor Guzenko posted a series of videos on Telegram in which he complains about the progress of the so-called SVO. He threatens the Russian authorities with an uprising. He was especially outraged by the situation in the Kursk region where the Ukrainian Armed Forces took Russian troops into operational encirclement. In the fighting in this area, the Z blogger lost a close friend, Captain of the Russian Armed Forces Artem Matul. Here in the Kursk region, in Sudza, the bridges were destroyed all around, and ours were building pontoon bridges. Tima died, Artem Vladimirovich Matul, a captain. If we had destroyed all the bridges to the Ukrainians at the very beginning, there would have been no weapon supplies there. Everything ended there long ago. But we do everything in the opposite direction. How wrong! It's a shame to the depths of my soul. We once believed in all this and went to war and honestly fought for all this nonsense. And the Russian authorities were having fun at this time, organizing seminars and negotiations. What is happening now is all betrayal. Traitors are sitting in the Kremlin. Planes are crashing. Explosions are happening. Inconvenient people are being removed, are being put in prison. We must understand that when we return from the front, the war will not be over for us. Traitors have captured the country. There are many of us. We are a whole country, and there is a bunch of you sitting there. You are old, you will die soon, Guzenko said. He also threatens to hand over Russian state Duma deputies to Ukraine in exchange for the release of Russian soldiers from captivity. Every deputy must understand that he can become an exchange fund. We will exchange one deputy, give to the Ukrainians so that he can be hanged publicly. Let them have fun, and we will also watch on TV. I will even turn on the Ukrainian channel for this, said Yegor Guzenko.